All right, today I want to take a look at using the uh, logic analyzer to look at I2C. And so I only need one probe because it has two channels on one probe. Um, now I wanted to point out that it comes with these little short cables, but these are standard. Um, uh, this is a micro OB, and this is a uh, USB 2, uh, 3.0. So there's five extra lines in here actually. And those five, there's four regular lines and five extra lines. And on the micro B, they come out four over here and five over here. So um, you can just go to the store and buy a, a standard cable. And it works great with your spectrum, or your logic analyzer. So I asked them and they said it can go up to two and a, two and a half meters. So I have a one meter cable here. And uh, yeah, it works just fine. So anyway, uh, so we have the thing powered up. We're going to be looking at I squared C. So let's go over to the uh, to the computer and take a look. All right, here we are. We've just launched it. Uh, we can do a new uh, a new session. Uh, just, we'll just hit record and see what uh, see what we get. And uh, if you look here at the big view at the bottom, we do have a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, if we to go to the top and we zoom. We zoom and uh, pan over. You can see that we've got a clock on the top and um, data on the bottom. And you're not using all these other things. You can go in and you can turn off those things. You can also go over here and you can uh, you can make these things bigger, uh, which is nice. So let me go ahead and open up a session that I've already done. Uh, this one. Yeah, so you can create a bus. You can tell it that it's an I squared C bus, and then we actually get we get real we get real data here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit run. This is this is the data that it stored last time around. I'll hit run, and we get we get brand new data this time around. Yeah, so there you go. So um, I've done a trick here in the triggering. If you just trigger, say on clock, you might trigger. Trigger, uh, where's a where's a cursor? Uh, how do you get to the cursor? If you click on A, do you actually get a cursor? I haven't figured that out yet. A position, select bar A. Yeah, I don't know how to get to it. You have to go over here and drag it over. Okay, so let's let's say that you're just triggering, and you might trigger on a clock. You might just trigger on this event right here, and really you want to trigger on the very very first of a burst, right? There, there's these bursts, there's a gap, and then there's a burst, and then there's a gap, and then a burst. So I have the triggering set up to do that for me. So when I hit, when I hit run, okay, it's always going to trigger, okay? Uh, this is the trigger point right here. It's always gonna trigger on the first clock of a brand new session. And the way that I do that is I set up trigger for three levels, so I have level one, a zero, one, and two checked here. Level zero is just find a uh, uh, find a clock. Um, actually, level level zero is not doing anything at all. Level one is uh, looking at bits zero, one, one clock and data and the high state, and I'm enabling this here which is width. So it has to be at least 14,000 clock cycles long to pass this part of the, of the trigger test. And so that catches the big long section. It, it, if it's shorter than that, it won't trigger on it. It has to be a nice long, a long high state. And then I can go ahead and trigger on the, uh, on the first clock here, which is zero. Uh, originally I had this set up to, to clock on the zero one two. Uh, doesn't really matter. You're going to get the same. You're going to get the same result. But anyway, that's a way to use multi-level triggering on this type of thing. Uh, we can do another type of triggering as well. So anyway, l let's take a talk about I squared C for a while. So you get uh, uh, you get an address sent. They have that color coded in three C, and then all the datas are in uh, in green, and then. Uh, uh, then there's some other things over here. There's always a, an address 3C, which is the address of the uh, uh, the uh, OLED display. 
let's see if we can do another type of trigger here. Trigger. Okay, so we're gonna have to set up a brand new one. So we're gonna have um, a bus. So we are going to um, enable buses here. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna set up a, uh, hello. We're gonna set up an I squared C bus. Next. And clock and data, data and clock. So I think these are reversed. I think we need to set these up reversed. Next. Finish. Run. And did it do anything? It did not. Oh, I need to set up the uh, triggering. So I'm going to do protocol triggering. Here we go. Protocol triggering. And I'm going to do active. And I'm going to say we want to have an address. Right. And the address we want to have 3C. Okay, so it's going to be looking for this event. So it's going to be looking for a start, an address, 3C, and a right condition. Okay, and then if we do a trigger. There we go. So we zoom in here. Let me, make the, let me make this one bigger. You can see that we, uh, we've we had an address of 3C and then we got a trigger event, all right? So we can go back to protocol triggering and we can add things. We can say, okay, then we also need an acknowledge and we need a, a data and the data we want is zero, zero. Okay, and then we'll run that. Okay, so now you see that the trigger event is after the address, the acknowledge, and the data. And uh, then you can continue on things like a second event, a third event, a fourth event. So you can do a bunch of stuff like that. Now, the cool thing about the uh, protocol stuff is you can also, down at the very, very, very bottom, there's a thing called packet list. And uh, let me zoom this way up here. So here's all the, here's all the packets that we got. Um, so address, write, acknowledge, data. And so, yeah for as long as you need to capture. So let's go ahead and capture capture a longer a longer sequence. Yeah, and you can see there's you just look at all of the data. So this is this is super, super powerful also. So I like the machine. Just a quick demo on doing uh doing I squared C.